Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're taking this class, welcome. My name is Bob, also known as Yoga Bob, and we are going to do a little yoga here for the next 45 minutes or so. We are going to do this with uh, balancing on our mind. So it will be a balance theme on this yoga flow here, uh, Hatha Yoga with a little flow, a little vinyasa. So we're going to really concentrate on keeping our balance today. And um, as we get older, we do lose our sense of balance. Uh, and it's always good to start while you're young to work on your balance. And it's never too late when you're older to, to work on your balance. There have been stories of people that started yoga in their 80s and improved with their walking and stuff like that. But anyways, find yourself a nice comfortable seat for now and a nice straight back. And uh, close your eyes. And just see how you feel today. This moment was going to work for you today and the good stuff like that. <laughs> and just breathe normal for now, breathing through your nose, breathing in through your nose, and out through your nose. I usually like to breathe in about a five count and come out about an eight count, a little bit longer for the out breath. Now inhale, bring your arms up, overhead, palms together, exhale, bring them to heart center. And we'll just open the class with one home. You can join me if you wish. I know you're at home or wherever you are and nobody's around. So make it a really out loud home. Like, oh. Let's try that again. Deep breath in. to the mat. What's, uh, I'll, you can even check your balance here a little bit. Just kind of wiggle left and right. I mean, if your balance is off, you're going to kind of slip today. So just see where it's at. Maybe move up backwards and forward, lifting all your toes. Go back onto your heels. Maybe lift up the ball of your feet for a second here, the big ball, and set it down and all toes down. Let's see where you're at. Balance why that your shoulders draw away from your ears. Crown towards the sky. And breathe. Remember your breathing. Tadasana, mountain pose. So come to the top of your mat. In your mountain pose. And just kind of see where you're at with your belt. Maybe just raise one leg today and just check the balance out for now. See where you're at here, what's working. Maybe just bring your leg out. And there's a lot, a lot of good things to do. <laughs> a good thing to do is find your drift, your focus. So you're going to look down or up at something that's not moving. Let's go to the other leg. There's something that's not moving and that will help your balance. And go ahead and set that in there. Back to Tadasana. So we're going to do a couple of sun A's. So just go along with me. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, bend your knees a whole lot. Let your torso fall onto your thighs. Forward fold. We haven't really warmed up anything. Well, we haven't at all. So just let yourself melt into your, your thighs. Your upper body melt into your thighs. And slowly start straightening your legs, really slow. And now bring your torso closer to your, your thighs. Draw your belly button in, drawing yourself even closer. And bring your hands to your shins. Inhale for our halfway lift. Bring your shoulder blades together, crown your head towards the front, twist towards the back, and breathe. Find an inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to standing, arms up overhead, palms together. Exhale to heart center, close your eyes. Do a quick stand here. How's your thigh? How's your uh, hamstrings feeling? 
a little warm up more. Okay, inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. We'll take a couple breaths here again in our forward fold, slowly straightening our legs out, bringing our crown even closer to the floor. Inhale, come up. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, back up again. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. We'll stay here for about two or three breaths. Really pushing your hands against your shins and uh, other things thereof. And you can even wrap before your toes if you're that flexible enough. But try not to round your, your back. Bend your knees a whole lot if you round your back. Take a breath in, exhale, fold. Inhale up to standing. Exhale, die forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, feet back, up plank pose. And breathe. Really spread those fingers out like starfish, your heels towards the back of the room. Nice. Bring in your, your belly button towards your spine. And breathe. Inhale, rock on your toes. Exhale. Come all the way down, flip your feet, inhale, halfway, uh, not halfway, lift, but cobra. Bring elbows towards one another. Your feet are really pushing against the mat, raising your knees off and your wrist to your focus just a little bit in front of your line of your front of your mat. Maybe raise your hands up and set them down. Curl your toes under, take a breath in, exhale, downward facing dog. This is our first doggy, so go ahead and pedal your dog. Let's warm up our hamstrings a little bit more. And remember your breathing. Now inhale, bring your knees about two inches from the mat. Push your palms against the mat and draw in your torso toes, your thighs, and then slowly, slowly start straightening your legs out. Bring your heels towards the mat. Look down at your feet. Look at your feet. Can you see your heels? If you can, adjust them so you can not see them. This will give your feet a little bit of straighter, straighter uh, position. And spiral your eyes of your elbows towards the sky, really pushing your index finger and thumb into the mat. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, get to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to standing, arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, to the mat. You, this time you can go halfway down. You can have up dog in your program, or all the way down. Inhale, forward back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, get to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to standing, arms up overhead, palms together, and Tadasana. We're gonna do our first balance pose. Not that we haven't been doing balance poses. Yoga is about balance a whole lot. Breath, balance, and buoyancy. I just made that up, so. So anyways, we're gonna do tree. Rikasana. So a tree you can go to, uh, three different ways. You can do a kickstand. This doesn't really challenge your balance, but if you're working on balance, your balance is off. This is a good way to start. If you want a little bit more challenge, go up to your calf. Bring your, uh, make sure this left thigh is parallel to the front of your right thigh. And if you want it even deeper, come all the way up. Remember to find your drifty, that focus that's not moving. Come all the way up to your inner thigh. Do not go to your knee. It has been known to have torn meniscus. And how's your balance? Mine's a little shaky on my right side. You're gonna find that each side is different. So just see what's working for you. 
How's your tree doing? Are you gonna, the wind gonna take you everywhere? I'm gonna come down a little bit because my balancing is a little bit off today on my right side. So I'm gonna go down a kickstand. You gotta know what, what works for you. So start with kickstand, maybe come up to the calf, then the thighs. If that doesn't work for you, come back down. It's okay. We can go backwards in yoga, it's encouraged. But don't live in the past, of course. And you can also do reverse namaste hands behind you in your uh, tree. And go ahead and release. And release the whole pose. Shake that out. And we got another side to do. So I'm gonna check, see how I'm doing here on this side. So the kickstand, not too bad. Cast stand, hmm. I'm kind of wobbly there. I'm gonna check my thigh stand. So find that drift, find that focus. That's really key. Right now I'm looking all over the place. That's probably one of my problems with the balancing is I'm also looking at the video, but also trying to find a drifty on the floor. My focus. So my balancing is off a little bit today. So that's gonna happen. You'd be surprised. Some days you feel yoga strong, other days yoga weak. So there we go. This is where I'm at for my balancing today. So I'm gonna go back down to the kickstand. And just move your arms up, spiral your fingers together, pinkies, shoulders drawing down your ribs, your, your, uh, away from your ears. And breathe. So I'm gonna try that tree again with the thigh tree. Boy, that worked a lot better. I think I built my confidence up with just putting the kickstand there. And that's another thing too. You start off a little small, you get your confidence in yoga, and you'll finally get the asana that you want. And release, come back to Tadasana. Close your eyes, let that absorb. And breathe. Inhale, bring it. Go ahead and face the front of your mat. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, feet back. Go through a flow or straight to down dog. Up to you. Exhale on the way down. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise right leg. Exhale, bring it forward. Spin your back foot down about a 25 degree angle. Inhale, come up to warrior one. Bear Vrasana number one. So you want your hips square to the front. Knee bent right over the ankle, not past it. You can go a little bit wider, go ahead with your stance and breathe. This doesn't really challenge your balance, but it might too. So. Release your toes if you're gripping the mat. And breathe. Now we're gonna do another balance pose here to challenge you. Bring your hands behind you, finding your uh, airplane arms, and then just kick up. You're gonna bring the left leg up, finding Warrior three, airplane arms. Fair Ross in the number three. Kick your heels towards the back. Again, find your drifty and breathe. And slowly come all the way. Bring that left foot to meet the right. Find your Tadasana. And I'm gonna give you a little spiel on blocks. If you have blocks, put block on each side of your mat, each end of your mat. We may be using it, uh, we will be using these. But if you don't have any blocks, a can will work for what you need to do. You can hold that there. Or even a water bottle with water in it, of course, so you can have the, the foundation of it. So let's come back to Tadasana. Inhale, arms up overhead, exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to the mat, up lower, straight to dog. Inhale for back bend. Exhale, downward doggy dog. Inhale, raise left leg. Exhale, bring it forward, spin that back foot 25 degree angle. Inhale, up to your bear brasa number one. Remember to square your hips to the front the best you can. Inhale, arms up overhead. Pinkies towards one another. And breathe. This may challenge your balance. Let's see where you're at. Kind of move around. My foundation feels pretty good here. Okay, we're going to do our, our uh, Warrior 3 airplane arms. Take a breath in. Exhale, launch into your airplane arm. Warrior 3. And breathe. Kicking that heel towards the back. Dristy right in front of you. Don't bend your neck up. Just maybe look a little bit forward. Take a breath in and let everything meet at the top. So nice little balancing pose here. Maybe shake that left leg out. And close your eyes. Absorb what we just did there. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, feet back. Up floor, straight to dog. Remember to inhale for back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise right leg. Exhale, bring it forward. Spin that back foot 25 degree, going back to warrior one. We'll take one breath in and a breath out. Have that block or can next to you. I'm sorry, should have told you. And bring your airplane arms back and launch into your warrior three. We're going to take one breath in and a breath out. Bring your arms forward through warrior three. Remember you have the block. I'm going to use mine to help my balance here. And breathe. Now from there, hinge at the hips and just come into standing split. You're not going to get a true split, but just bring that left leg up and head towards your right knee. You can grab your ankles if you can, but grab your block. The block will help or your can, whatever works for you. Then slowly come back down. Bringing that left foot back down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, warrior two. Remember your breathing. Okay, check your legs out. Your heels should be even with the back arch. And you're just going to relax into your warrior three. Now, if you have your block or can with you, bring it close by. We're going to do another balance pose here. So bring your left hand to your right, your left hip. Bring the left foot back up. Take a breath in. Exhale. Bring that right left leg up. Grab your can on the floor. Then spin your chest open. Left arm comes up to the ceiling. Ardra Ardranasana. Half moon pose. Really opening up. Finding your balance here. If you can, let go of the can. See where your balance is at without it. Can your fingers stay off the mat? Not me today. Stay in your half moon. Take a breath in. Exhale back to warrior two. Inhale, flip palm, reverse that warrior. Really reaching for the ceiling. Left hand goes all the way down to your left foot. Find an inhale, 
Exhale, cartwheel your arms. Go to a flow if you wish. Exhale on the way down. Inhale, come back in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise your left leg. Exhale, bring it forward, spin that back foot down. Inhale, coming up to our warrior one. We'll take a breath here and a breath out. Bring your hands to the airplane behind you. Take a breath in. Exhale, launch into your airplane. Warrior three airplane arms. Find that balance. I struggle here finding my balance. Now bring your arms forward. There's your block next to you, or you can. Warrior three, conventional. Take a breath in, exhale, hinge, and come into standing split. There's your block with you. Go ahead and you can put it in front of your foot in your standing split. Drawing your head towards your knee. Both hands on the mat. Yes, you will be assisted by your hands. And you can always grab one hand towards your thigh, uh, calf. Up to you. Take a breath in. Just let yourself fall back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, warrior two. Remember your breathing. Remember this. Front knee likes to float into your, your big toe, so bring that knee towards your little toe. <clears throat> bring your right hand to your hip. Right leg comes up halfway. Take a breath in, exhale, launch into your half moon left side. Go ahead and open up. Remember your breathing. So how's your balance on this side? Can you let go of the block? Fingers away from the mat. Take a breath in and come back to warrior two. Try not to fall. Inhale, flip palm. Reverse your warrior. Reach for the skies and breathe. Take a breath in, exhale, cartwheel your arms, a flow or no, up to you. Inhale for the back bend, exhale, downward dog, and let's come into a child's pose. So your big toes will touch, your knees will go as wide as the mat, and let your upper torso fall in between your arms. And we'll take a few breaths here. Slowly come up, curl your toes under, take a breath in, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, raise left, right leg, exhale, bring it forward, and inhale. We're not coming into warrior two, we're coming into proserita, so you're gonna bring your arms way out, your feet pigeon toed. Hands to your hips, take a breath in, lean back, exhale. Hinge at the hips and fold. Crawl your hands all the way back past your heels and let your head just rest towards the mat. You can also grab your, your ankles if you wish to draw you a little bit closer towards your back. Toe your feet back together, setting up for another balancing pose. So find your tadasana, your mountain pose. Really feel your feet into the mat. Raise all your toes up. Let let it really absorb into your mat. Draw your belly button towards your 
spine, crown towards the center, uh, sky, and breathe. Okay, we're gonna do another balancing pose, so be prepared. Inhale, arms up overhead, exhale, chair pose. Oh, you're saying that's not a balanced pose. In a sense it is. If you lean back on your heels, which I encourage all the time, you barely feel, feel the, the toes on the ground and breathe. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift the left leg and we're gonna come into a figure four. Open your arms up. And see what happens here. Come a little bit deeper in your seat. Maybe flex your top foot. Really focusing on something that's not moving. Drawing belly button to the spine. Maybe push the left knee down a little bit more. Make it parallel with the right thigh. If you're squeezing the mat, stop with your toes. And slowly come up. And Tadasana. Go ahead and shake that right leg a little bit. Close your eyes, absorb. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, chair pose. And bring the opposite leg up. Should be your right leg. Get your left knee for your figure four. And open your arms. Remember your breathing. Flex your top foot if you wish. Push that right leg down a little bit more. Knee. And come up. Tadasana. And close your eyes. Absorb what we did there. And go ahead and bring your hands to your hips. Widen your feet. This time we'll just do a saddle. So your, uh, your, your toes should go to each end of your mat. And just relax here. Nothing really treacherous we're going to do here. Maybe just slowly start going down a little bit more. Drawing your glutes towards the floor. Try to keep a straight back the best you can. And slowly come up. Bring both feet towards each other. Once again. Excuse me, I'm sweating a little bit here. Uh, so we're going to do another hard balance pose here. This will be a little bit harder. Many of you have done it, I'm sure. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, chair pose. Now this time, bring your left leg right over your right thigh. Really squeezing it together. If you can't hook that left foot behind your right calf, if not, flex your left leg, left foot. Open up your arms. Left arm goes under right arm. Eagle arms. Eagle pose. If you're having a hard time, today I'm having a hard time keeping my balance. So I'm just going to do eagle arms. Bring your, your uh, upper arms parallel to the floor. Hands away from your face, making a nice L here. I'm going to go back to intertwined legs, see where that takes me, I'm doing okay. And release. If you're still in and you want to stay a little bit longer, go ahead. And everybody to Tadasana. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, chair, you bring this Right leg over the left. Can you hook the calf? If not, flex the foot. The upper foot, of course. And right goes under that for eagle arms. If you have trouble with eagle arms, you can always grab your shoulders. 
Sorry I didn't tell you that at the beginning. The first side. But make sure your upper arms are parallel to the floor. Breathe. Take a breath in and release. Shake that all out. Close your eyes and tadasana. We got one more, well, a couple more crazy balances you can add to your flow or to our program. Come to the top of your mat again in Tadasana. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, dive forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, feet back, go floor straight to dog. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, downward. Facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, air comes to the top of your mat. Come in to Dasana. You can either stay at the top of your mat or come to the, along the length ways. Another balance pose here. So bring weight into your right foot. We're going to hitchhike, so bring your thumb out like you're hitchhiking. Both legs together. Bring your left foot up. Grab the inside of that foot with your left hand to arch. Inhale, raise your right hand and your left leg. Coming into dancer. Kicking your foot higher and breathe. These are all wonderful balance poses. Remember you don't have to do all of these. I'm just introducing them to you to what you want to do and what not to do for your own home practice if you do have one. And especially for the older clientele for our balancing. I'm there too, so it's happening. And release, coming back to Tadasana. Okay, bring your weight to your left leg. You're gonna hitchhike in America. So bend your right leg, grab the inside. Inhale, raise your left arm, and then your right leg. Hopefully don't watch me, I'm bouncing all over the place. We're coming into your Bird of Paradise. Not Bird of Paradise. Dancer, forget I said Bird of Paradise. That is totally something different. There we go. And release, if you haven't already. Shake that out. Bring your feet a little bit wider in your hips. Inhale, arms up overhead, exhale, come all the way down into our goddess. So your elbows will be inside your, your knees. Come with a straight bag as much as you can. You can also grab your block and let your butt rest on there if you have a hard time with this goddess. Remember, the closer your feet are, the harder the pose. So we're going to do a couple arm balance poses here just to keep us honest. So the first one will be crow. So bring your, your upper arms to your knees. Bring your feet forward. And just kind of be, if you haven't ever done it, just lean forward, come onto your toes and see how it feels. You might just want to stay here today. But if you want a little bit more, come forward, let your upper body bring your Feet up, your back feet up for a true crow. Bring both toes together if you can. And then breathe. You can always bring just one leg up if you're feeling a little bit frightful about it. And then go to the other leg. You will feel the balancing there. Or all of them. 
And come back to your feet. Come back to goddess. We're going to do another arm balance pose. So bring your hands forward. Come into plank. Both feet together. Nice firm plank. Take a breath in. Let your feet fall to the right. Raise your left hand up. Side plank. Remember, you can drop your bottom knee to give you a little bit more stableness. If you want a balance challenge, go ahead and lift everything, hips towards the sky. Left leg comes up. Take a breath in and come back to plank. We're going to go to the other side immediately. So take an inhale, exhale, raise up on your right arm up. Take a breath in and come back down. On another inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Now draw your feet back towards the middle of your mat, coming into our goddess pose. And we're going to do a little balance on our glutes. So let your hands come behind you, just fall onto your glutes, bring your legs up for boat pose, the basana. Kick your heels towards the front and open up. How's your balance here? If it's a little shaky, remember you can bring your hands to each side of your hips. Opening up, chest is open, and breathe. And release. Come on to your backs, your knees bent. And go ahead and relax for a second. Maybe wipe any sweat that's on you away. We got a few poses in the on the mat. Some will be balanced, some will be just your regular cool down poses. So take a breath in. Well, Bring your knees even with your hips. Maybe pigeon toe your feet a little bit. I was getting ahead of myself, so bear with me. Arms to the side. Take a breath in. Ex inhale and exhale. Come up, hips, low back, and the rest of you. You can also bend your elbows to give you a little bit of leverage. And then for our balancing, let's bring our right leg up. See what happens. How's your balancing doing there? And go ahead and bring that right leg down. We got another leg to lift up. Is it the same or different for your balance? And release. Stay in your uh, your bridge. Take a breath in and slowly come down one vertebra body at a time. Bring the soles of your feet together, one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. So Supta Baddha Konasana. And Supta Baddha Konasana, the closer your heels to your groin, the deeper the pose. And of course, the further the heels, the softer the pose. Up to you. I kind of go halfway. Remember, some groins are looser than others. So if your legs are up like that, don't sweat it. It's going to happen. What I mean by legs up, they're not all the way towards the floor. They're about halfway. That happens with a lot of people. People that sit a lot. Your job. So reach down, bring your knees together, give yourself a good hug, massage your back, lift it right, and release. 
We're gonna do a baby shoulder stand. So just bring your legs up, bring your hands behind your uh, hips, a little bit of your butt cheeks, and then just come up. Just right here is fine for your shoulder stand. We don't wanna to go too deep. If we had uh, blankets, I would explain it a little bit better. And we could go deeper, but not this time. So just let, maybe even bend your knees let them hang out close to your face. Or you can extend, do a baby plow, don't go all the way, just stay where you're at right now. Most of your back on the mat, your hips are up being braced by your hands. And slowly start bringing your legs back and come back to a setup for bridge. We won't be doing bridge, but just relax. In fact, bring your feet as wide as the mat, knees together, and just windshield wipe. And slowly come back up. And a nice straight spine, Dandasana, your hands by the side. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, let's rinse all this out, coming forward. Grab the outside of your feet, maybe your toes drawing, your toes toward your face. And just let everything melt towards your thighs.
let your awareness come back to the room. If you went far away, come back. You should have said hang them up and stayed here. <laughs> Just kidding. Whatever works for you in Shavasana. Bring movement into your fingers, your toes. Take a nice deep breath in. And on your exhale, bring your arms up overhead, point your feet forward, getting a nice linear stretch, stretching all that imbalance we have in our life, getting it out of our system. Take a breath in, exhale, draw your knees to your chest, give yourself a good hug. On another inhale, and on an exhale, let yourself roll to your right side, maybe you bring your right arm up, and use it, your bicep as a pillow, and just relax. And throw out good thoughts to the world right now. Maybe to a friend or even somebody that's not your friend. A neighbor that you don't get along with. Throw some beautiful thoughts to them. Maybe they'll need those thoughts to start a, a change in your relationship if you have a, a mean person in your life. But if you don't want to go there, throw it out to somebody you love deeply. And then slowly make yourself up to See? Eyes still closed. And thank you for letting me show you some balance poses today. Hopefully the, the flow helps with you. This is what you wanted today or needed for the future. Just keep in mind you can add those balance poses for your own, own home practice. And maybe balancing poses will balance our lives. Sometimes we feel a little bit imbalanced. I, mean, I know my checkbook gets imbalanced sometimes. My attitude, you know, just things in general seem a little bit off balance. So maybe go and do a balance related yoga and see where that takes you, your mindset. It's nice to have balance in our lives, both physically and mentally and emotionally. And it's hard to find, but we get there eventually. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead, palms together. Exhale, bring them to heart center. Thank you for letting me share my yoga with you. Actually, it's our yoga. So hopefully this suffice for you. Let's bring our hands, our thumbs to our forehead center, our third eye. Knowing always the soul within me honors the soul within you as we bow saying namaste. And inhale, come back up. Thank you.